Good morning everyone. Today we'll be looking at the star knot tied with a single strand. I like to use this one whenever I'm just needing star knots for like a picture frame or, or adding to another project. Uh, the reason is I only have the two lines to deal with hiding or tucking away uh, whenever I'm finished with it versus a multi-strand which you'll have uh, uh, several, several strands, especially like uh, with this six strand here. Uh, I'd wind up with 12 strands I'd have to deal with, um, six in, six out. So uh, starting with, I'd like to pull out about six feet of line. That way I can just continue on tying uh, one star after another, uh, wind up with multiple stars in the line. Uh, and begin with, I'll do a bite and do a second bite and then go ahead and tuck that second bite up into the first. And each one of these bites will create a lobe uh, of the star uh, and the last lobe will be tied in so you'll want to be one less bite than what you want lobes on your star this is going to be a six strand so i'll do five bites and go ahead and pull down some of that slack you only want to leave enough really enough to to run another strand through to double up the original and make sure that you stay uh, in the right orientation don't let it twist on you like this or you'll run your next bite through and the knot will be messed up it needs to stay oriented uh, nice and clean going through the prior bite so come on up and keep working till we get our five one two three four so i got one more to go just make sure you don't forget to count that initial bite. It really won't look like it's there, but if you look at it and pay attention, you'll see it's there. Make sure you count that initial bite. And now that will should do it. We'll look at it. Uh, there's my initial one, and two, three, four, and five. So that's all the bites I need. I'll be tying in that sixth. So next what I'll do is come around with my working end, come from the bottom, and go through that last bite. Okay, and then bring this around. Uh, you'll want to take that working end and pass it underneath that standing line uh, at the start of the knot. And then come up from the bottom again on the beginning loop you have. Uh, so I'll be working to the bottom on these first lines. And once you got that through, uh, we can come back around. You're going to go over the top of that standing and then run it through that loop here. So now you'll have a top and a bottom strand formed. And it's a good time here to go ahead and work the slack out uh, where you've brought these together. Try to even up all your slack. Less slack you have here, the less slack you'll have to work out after you finish the knot and doubled it. Okay, so open this up a little bit so you can see the two upper and lower. You got an upper and lower strand between there. You want to pass your working end back through that to create your final sixth lobe. So you'll pass it those lines take up your slack on it okay and then look at your knot dress it up don't have to be exact but you want to want to have it fairly neatly and then go ahead and drop it down through the center of the knot so that you're coming out from the bottom and that's completed the basic knot um, Take a look at it again before you start your double. Make sure everything looks good, uh, fairly even. And what you'll do, <clears throat> go ahead and be turning it over and start doubling your knot by following that st standing in at the start. You'll see it's laid out. You have the standing in up here towards the top and then the working in down towards the bottom. You'll just follow that standing in all the way through the knot to double it up. Turn it back over. You'll see that standing in follows here. We'll go around for a loop and back underneath. 
Uh, so you want to make sure you always do your working line to the inside of that standing line. Uh, you want your original uh, knot line to be to the outside. And when you come around with your loop, you want that working uh, line to be on top of the prior standing line. And just continue on through, and get everything doubled up and ready to slack to be taken out. Okay, so now we're coming up on the final loop. Um, I'll go ahead and get this finished up. And I'll show you how we finish off this knot. And going around the last loop. Okay. I'm going to take it down to the bottom. You should be back there uh, by those uh, leads with the standing and coming out. You'll notice the standing is, is passing underneath these three. And you'll want to take your working and passing over these two, or under these two. So you'll tuck them under, like so. 